so hello students welcome once again to my youtube channel and in succession to the videos what i have been taking on the neat pg entrance exam preparations so in succession to the those uh, to those videos today's video i'll be mainly focusing upon the most frequently asked questions in the form of multiple choice questions which are very frequently asked in the various competitive exams whether it be the neat pg entrance the md ms or mdms mds exams so in all the competitive exams uh, whether it be md or ms or mds in all the exams the most frequently asked questions on the hepatitis b virus uh, i'll be trying to take up all the questions in a very short and in a very um, concise manner so students beginning with so as you all might be very well aware that this hepatitis b virus it is a dna virus and it is have made up of several layers of uh, protein coats are there and these protein coats uh, what are present uh, in the center of the uh, protein coat in their protein coat envelope or these um, the envelope or the capsomeres of this virus so within um, within this protein coat the double stranded the dna of the virus is going to lie all right so this uh, dna is going to lie in the center of the virus and outside it is covered by envelopes or coats which are present so the outermost coat what is present it is the hepatitis b surface antigen it has been called as the outermost layer it has been called as the hepatitis b surface antigen just beneath it it is there is presence of an envelope which is going to encircle this virus it is called as the hepatitis b envelope antigen and beneath it what do we find it is the hepatitis b core antigen so most of the places hello in most of the places what do we find is that whenever the questions they are in the multiple choice questions whenever they are going to ask you it they have been, they will mention it in the form of h b s a g h b c a g h b e a g so these all things this is going to how you are going to pronounce it that is the hepatitis b surface antigen h b c a g represents the hepatitis b core antigen and whereas the hepatitis b eag it is called as the hepatitis b envelope antigen and just in the center in the core there is going to lie the dna along with the dna polymerase enzyme so students beginning with so first question the most frequently asked question the most important mcq what they frequently ask you in the exam it is that the first marker to appear in the blood after hepatitis b uh, virus infection which of the following antigens is present so whether it be hbs ag hbeag hbc ag so they'll uh, put you many options over there so most important the first question what they frequently asked is about what is the first marker to appear in the blood after infection so do remember it is the hepatitis b surface antigen which is going to present in the blood after infection so at this point must be very clear in your mind that it uh, the detection of hepatitis b surface antigen its detection is a must for the diagnosis of the hepatitis b virus infection so whenever the hepatitis b virus infection if you are going to ascertain if you are going to rule out that hepatitis b virus infection either it is present or not so the first marker what is to be looked for it is the hepatitis b surface antigen which is used in the diagnosis of the hepatitis b virus infection apart from that see uh, nowadays there has been uh, many vaccines are also available so uh, for the hepatitis b virus again the vaccines are available so for the hepatitis b virus the vaccines what are being administered to the general population it is uh, it is containing the genetically engineered okay it is uh, uh, containing the genetically engineered hepatitis b surface antigen particles do remember the vaccines what are being administered for the prophylaxis of this hepatitis b virus they are going to contain the genetically engineered form of the hepatitis b surface antigen particles and this hepatitis b surface antigen particles they have been given another name they have been called by the name of the australian antigen 
So do remember it is either they can ask you the either they can give you in the option that the which is the first marker to appear in the blood after infection of the hepatitis B virus. It is the hepatitis B surface antigen or they can also mention against uh, that hepatitis B surface antigen is also known by another name that is the Australian antigen. Moving on to the next point that next is hepatitis B core antigen. So do remember since it is the core so outside there has been presence of the hepatitis B surface antigen and just beneath it what do we have it is the hepatitis B core antigen. So all right so hepatitis B core antigen it is the core it is lying somewhat inside of the surface antigen so it is not present do remember which they can ask you in the question that which of the following will not be seen in the bloodstream of an individual infected with hepatitis B. So hepatitis B surface antigen is going to represent that the surface is that the person has been infected with, with hepatitis B but what is not visible in the blood of the patient it is the it is the hepatitis b core antigen since it is lying beneath in the underlying sheet of the hepatitis b surface antigen so it is not present in the blood as it is enclosed within the hepatitis b surface antigen coat all right so hepatitis B core antigen is going to lie within the hepatitis B surface antigen. So that's why it is not present in the bloodstream and it, its presence cannot be detected. Now moving on to the next that is the hepatitis B envelope antigen. So do remember very very important the most frequently asked MCQ the multiple choice question what they ask is that which of the following out of the following hepatitis B surface antigen, hepatitis B core antigen, hepatitis B envelope antigen out of the following what is an indicator of the active intrahepatic viral replication. So since the hepatitis B virus has a strong affinity for the liver it is going to replicate it is going to multiply within the liver. So whenever the in the blood sample in the serum blood serum whenever it is being indicated that the presence of hepatitis B envelope antigen is seen do remember it is clearly indicating that the virus is replicating within the liver that is it is showing the active intrahepatic viral replication. So the viral replication is has tremendously increased. So hepatitis B envelope antigen if it is detected in the serum of the patient it is clearly indicating that the patient has a high infectivity of hepatitis B virus and that too the virus are replicating at a very fast pace and it is the presence of hepatitis B envelope antigen is indicating that the virus is in the active intrahepatic viral replication stage. So that is indicating the high infectivity of the patient with the hepatitis B virus. Now moving on to the next thing that in response to this viral infection obviously whenever an antigen is going to enter into the body the body's immune system gets activated and it tries to produce antibodies. It produces antibodies to that particular antigen. Now what they do is since these, uh, these antibodies have also been detected in the patient's blood serum so what it is there is that the hepatitis B surface antibodies so anti-HBS you can call it in the form in the how you are going to pronounce it hepatitis B surface antibody. So this the hepatitis B surface antibody it is the protective antibody that the body's immune system develops to it is the first antibody to appear after the disappearance of the hepatitis B surface antigen. Now once the hepatitis B surface antigen has been eliminated so how to detect that the virus that the disappearance of the hepatitis B surface antigen has taken place. So this can be very easily made out by detecting the hepatitis B surface antibodies in the patient's serum. All right, moving on to the next MCQ. Very, very important. That is the hepatitis B core antibody. So hepatitis B core antibody 
that is the IgM. Do remember that the hepatitis B core antibody IgM, if IgM is present, it is indicating a recent infection. It is indicating an acute hepatitis B virus infection. So it is the earliest antibody, the IgM antibody, that is the hepatitis B core antibody, that is IgM, it is indicating the earliest antibody marker in response to hepatitis B virus infection. So this is indicating the recent infection or an acute infection. In contrast, on the contrary, what do we find is that the hepatitis B core antibody, that is the IgG, wherever the IgG antibody is present, do remember it clearly indicates a chronic infection. So this IgG antibody, it is going to denote a remote or a chronic hepatitis B virus infection. And now moving on to the last but not the least, that is hepatitis B envelope antibody. So this hepatitis B envelope antibody is indicating the low infectivity of the hepatitis B virus. So since it is the envelope antibody, so it is in indicating a low infectivity of the patient. So these were the very frequently asked questions, either in the form of multiple choice questions, you can be asked in the various competitive neat PG entrance exams. So I've tried my level best to make out, out, out if they are going to ask you about hepatitis B virus, either the questions may come from the hepatitis B surface antigen, the core antigen, the envelope antigen, and the corresponding antibodies. So antibodies, hepatitis B antibody, they are going to appear, whether it, 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 if it is the earliest or the acute infection is present, then the anti-hepatitis B uh, IgM antibody, and if it is a chronic infection, then it's the hepatitis B, uh, hepatitis B antibody, that is the IgG, is indicating a chronic infection. So students, this was a short video. If you, if you do have any queries or comments, okay. Okay, thank you. If, uh, if you have any queries or comments, you are most welcome to uh, comment me in the comment section. And the students who are visiting my channel from the first time and they haven't subscribed yet, go do subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for my upcoming videos. And do subscribe and share amongst your friends. The same video I'll be taking after a short while in the same Hindi language. So students stay connected.